Welcome to the next episode of Distance Learning with the Bakersfield Symphony. We're going to explore the next movement in Modest Mazorgsky's pictures at an exhibition today. This one is entitled The Old Castle. As you know, each movement was based on a drawing, painting, or design made by Mazorgsky's friend, Victor Hartman. Unfortunately, we don't have the old castle painting to look at today, but the painting was described as being a medieval castle before which a troubadour sings a song. Now, a troubadour was a kind of traveling poet and musician who made a living traveling and performing for people. The poetry and songs they created and performed often told stories. Try to imagine what this painting looks like. You probably don't have trouble imagining a castle, but being in America prevents most of us from seeing the real-life examples in person. Here are some pictures of real castles from around the world. Imagine a painting of one of these castles with a troubadour somewhere outside the castle, perhaps leaning against the outer wall or sitting at the gate, instrument in hand, singing mournfully. Now, I've just essentially placed a cartoon picture over a photo of an actual castle, and it looks a little comical, but I promise the original painting did not look comical, and as you'll see, the music doesn't sound very comical either. Mazorgsky takes both of these main elements of the painting, the setting, consisting of some amount of countryside and an old castle, and the troubadour, and gives them both musical voices. Let's start with the setting an old castle. This isn't a castle in the height of the glory of a kingdom with people coming and going and doing business and flags raised to celebrate the coming feast. No, it's an old castle, a large, lonely stone building, perhaps in disrepair. Mazorgsky uses something called a pedal tone in his music, a repetition of one note that never changes through the entire movement. This old castle has stood for many years, beaten down by weather and wars and who knows what else, and it's still standing, a stark, lonely stone building rising out of the landscape. I think this pedal tone that Mazorgsky uses speaks to that, the unrelenting march of time coupled with the castle that marches right along with it. Now, Pictures at an Exhibition was originally written for piano, so we're going to actually break down some of this on a piano before listening to the orchestral version. So here's how that pedal tone sounds by itself. <laughs> If we add in the rest of the accompaniment parts, Mazorgsky paints a very sad, lonely musical picture of this old castle, which we can only assume looked sad and lonely in the original painting. aspect of the painting Mazorgsky uses is the troubadour, and Mazorgsky gives him a voice and writes a melody for his song.
Now let's put it all together. Now we are going to listen to the whole movement, but I'm going to give you your follow-up questions and activities first so you can be thinking about it or even starting to do them while you are listening. The movement is about four and a half minutes long, so it's a little longer than some of the other things we've listened to so far, but I do encourage you to listen to the whole thing. I've got several activity options for you to choose from today. One. Draw a picture as you are listening to the music of what you think the original painting that the music is based on looked like. Two, give the painting a backstory. What was the castle? Why is it now seemingly deserted? How did the troubadour come to be there? What's his story? Three, if you are an instrumentalist, download the PDF version of the troubadour melody for your instrument and try playing it yourself. Note, I have made a version in the original key, so you could potentially play along with the recording, and I've also made a version in an easier key. Four, write words for the troubadour's melody. If it helps, you can download one of the instrument parts and use just that portion of the melody, and try to make sure you have one syllable for each note. Now, enjoy The Old Castle from Mazorgsky's Pictures at an Exhibition.